Hey guys, Mr. Gibson here. So today, uh, you guys are going to do what's called a gizmo. And you may have had some experience with gizmo in the past, I'm not sure, but I'm going to walk you through exactly what this assignment wants. Um, it's not a very difficult assignment at all. It's really just mainly to get you guys to get logged into gizmo and get you familiar with how to use a gizmo. And I hope you guys get logged in and get set up and then you will actually turn this in as a grade. So let's get started. If you go to the Google Classroom, this is where we're at today, Gizmo Introduction. Um, now, this is hopefully going to be pretty easy for you guys, but it's also a pretty good tie-in to what Unit 1 is going to be about. It's all about the structure of the atom, and you guys get to play around with that today. So, um, kind of the, the point of this, why we use Gizmo, is because it, it allows us to use simulations uh, to play with things and work with things, manipulate things that we wouldn't be able to do in real life. So today you guys are going to be literally building atoms and taking apart the parts of atoms. You're going to move around protons, neutrons, and electrons. And in real life, we don't have the technology here at PCHS to let you guys play with atoms with your hands and move around the subatomic particles. But you can get to do that through a simulation. So that's why we use stuff like Gizmo. So let's take a look. It says you're going to click this link below and uh, follow the instructions. So click, you're going to click the link and then click login slash enroll. So let me, I'm just going to walk through that every step with you. So we're going to click this link down here. This is the Gizmo website. A couple ways you can get here. One, uh, you could follow this link, which I'll probably post on every single Gizmo assignment that we do. You could also Google the word Gizmo. And I think this is the first link that pops up, the Explore Learning website, which is the Gizmo website. Or um, I believe it's also in your interactive notebook where it says Gizmo, where after this, hopefully you type in your username and your password so you don't forget it. Um, that word Gizmo is hyperlinked. So if you click on it, it will actually take you to the Gizmo website. All right. So this was our first step. Go here and then click this button right up here. It says login slash enroll. Now, when I click on that, you see that I already have a username and password already in there. Um, so we're going to pretend that I don't, though. We're going to pretend like I'm you guys, and this is probably our first time using Gizmo. Let's follow the next step. It says type in the enroll code for your class and then click enroll in class. So if you're in my first period chemistry class, this is your enroll code right here. If you're in my second period chemistry class, this is your enroll code here. It's important that you use the right one because I only have so many spots in each class. And if you're in second period and you jump into first period, you may take up room that someone else needs. So um, let me go in and copy this. Okay. Now I'm just going to paste that straight into where it says class code and hit enroll in class. All right. So. Um, I, so at this point, um, you can see here that you're in the right class, Mr. Gibson's first period chemistry class. And if you're in second period, it should say second period here. And you've got a couple options for where to go from here. Um, if you already have an account, um, I would say this won't count for most of you, but if you do already have an account and you for sure, 100% remember your username and password, you're confident you won't forget them then you can click this blue tab, but everybody else, which would be the vast majority of you, you need to click the green tab where it says, I need to create an explore learning account, register now to enroll. When you click that, it will take you to this page. Okay. This is where you need to type in some info. You need to type in your first name and your last name. I'm not going to fill this out because I don't want to enroll myself in my own class. I'm not sure. I may break the internet if I do that. I'm not sure what would happen. So um, but you guys will fill this out. Do first name and last name. And you don't have to type in your email address, but you can if you want to. And then you're going to create your username and your password for Gizmo. Now, so that everybody uh, never forgets what your username and password are, follow these steps. For your username, make it your first name dot last name. So for me, it would be Christian dot Gibson. If your name is John Doe, it would be John dot Doe. Okay. Your password, everybody's password is going to be exactly the same. Okay. And it doesn't matter if someone else knows your password. You guys probably will not be turning in assignments through Gizmo. So it doesn't 
matter if someone knows your password, okay? Your password will be gizmo, G-I-Z-M-O, one. No spaces, no caps, uh, gizmo, and then the number one. You can see that spelled out right here. So your username, first name, dot last name, your password, gizmo, one. Not gizmos one, gizmo one, all right? Um, once you've done this step, you're going to want to go, and this is the biology one, but it looks just like yours. You're going to go here and type in your username and your password right here so you always have it. If you forget, you're absolutely, I'm not going to get annoyed if you ask me, but this is just would avoid, this would cut out the middleman. You would already have your username and password if you were to forget about it. All right. Um, once you are finished with that and you're in the classroom, you are going to see, I'm going to go ahead and log in so you can, so I can see what you guys will see. You will see this. It'll be Mr. Gibson's first period chemistry class, or if you're in second period, it'll be second period. And right now there's only one gizmo in there, and that's the one you're doing for this assignment, and it's called the element builder. So you guys are going to actually, you juniors in, in high school, or maybe sophomores, are going to get to physically manipulate protons, neutrons, and electrons and build your own atoms. I think that's pretty incredible. That's what this allows you to do. So you're going to want to click launch and it takes you right into here. You can leave it in this screen. You can blow it up if you want to. It's totally up to you. And this is where you're going to play around with the protons and the neutrons. And the electrons. Now, I'm not just going to turn you loose to just kind of do whatever because then you it may just confuse you. You may not know what to do. So there is uh, there are some instructions you need to follow with each gizmo. And most of the time, they will look like this. So I've got this Google Doc file. And I've got it set to where you can only view it. You cannot edit this file. You cannot edit this Google Doc. So what you need to do is follow this instruction here. If you're done registering, open the Google Doc and make a copy. Okay, so we're going to open this up. I'm going to walk you through every step. It loads. All right, so it's here, and I've got text boxes for everything you're going to type in, okay, including your name. But what, for your guys' view, it will not let you edit it. So what you need to do is come here, File, Make a Copy, and then don't leave it as Copy of Gizmo Introduction, blah, 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 blah. Maybe just type in your name. So if your name is John Doe, John Doe, Gizmo Introduction Element Builder. And that's just really easy for me to sort out who's turned in what. Um, I'm not going to actually do that because I don't want an extra copy saved on my computer, but you guys will hit make a copy and then you will be able to edit whatever you want to on here and answer the questions. So it gives you um, some vocabulary, um, it gives you some prior knowledge questions, and it's okay if you don't know those because it's just prior knowledge. It gives you warm up questions, makes sure you're good to go with the gizmo, and then it walks you through step by step what to do and fill in the answers. It should be a pretty easy grade for you guys, okay? Um, and if you have any questions at all, always feel free to email me. Once you're done with this and you've filled in all the answers, okay, um, what I will have you guys do is uh, submit this document, not, yeah, you won't be able to. So submit the document that you made a copy of, your copy, with your name and the title. Um, to this assignment, and uh, I will go through and make sure that you guys have done it and give you a grade for it. Like I said, it should be pretty easy grade, all right? Um, so if you have any questions whatsoever, please uh, do not hesitate to email me or ask me, all right? See you guys later.